Hi guys, it's bargain store project recycled time. This is bargain store project number two, uh, which is a crawler bot. Just see if I can turn it on. Right. Turn that off so we can talk. Okay, so that's number two. Uh, what I'm going to do is disassemble it and I'm going to make a boat out of the bits. Because um, at this moment in time I'm making a few boats. So this fella is going to the uh, bargain store in the sky and going to be renovated, or reused, or upcycled, or whatever word you want to use, into a boat. Right, well that didn't take long to hack that apart. This will now be the hull of the boat. I need to put a bottom on it, and fill in the holes. We'll still be using the vibrating toothbrush as the power unit. So you'll have to have a look at project number two if you want to find out how this happens to be a vibrating toothbrush. Basically the bit that was the toothbrush on the end I've sawn off so that I can get to the electric motor. And I'm going to modify this a little bit in a minute, you'll see how. It's going to stand upright in the middle of the boat, so I can still get to the on-off switches. I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. Right, I've made a box there, which is where the motor's going to go. glue that across the bottom to hopefully make it watertight. Um, I'm not expecting it to leak but probably better if I make it watertight just to hold the motor out of the water anyway. Right, I'm going to use this pizza tray as the bottom of the hull. So I should cut that out and then hot glue it around the bottom. Okay, that's glued the base on, or the bottom. Got a little bit of tidying up to do, because I've got a bit of a gap at the front there. Didn't measure it quite right, but I'm sure I can fix that. I might put some sort of a, a keel on it. So try and help it go in a straight line. Cut something out there. Right. Now we need to make the propulsion mechanism. And it's going to be this stirring stick. That's going to be there's going to be a cam or a wheel on here that's going to turn round with a little peg sticking up. That's going to wobble that backwards and forwards. And at the other end of this stick there'll be something like a rudder that sticks in the water and flicks backwards and forwards. That's the theory. Right, this will be my cam wheel. It's just a bit of plastic. In fact, originally it was a credit card or a store card. I shall glue that on top of there in a minute. As that rotates, that should wobble my uh, what we call it, a flipper or something. That's annoying. I've just noticed this 
stirrer that I was going to use has actually got a split in it. So I can't use that. So I'll just have to use one of my uh, flower canes. I've been calling them garden canes. And I went to the shop today and realised they were actually labelled flower canes. So, uh, but that should do the job anyway. I've just looped or straightened out a paper clip and then made it into a single loop. I shall glue that on the end like that and then the idea is that sits over the top of that and as that turns round that wobbles it wobbles it. Well, I suppose that's the best word I can use. Right, getting a bit closer. That's the... Uh, not quite sure what to call it. <laughs> that's the end of the uh, waggling stick. <laughs> um, it's a bit of ball pen there. I've just cut the end off. I shall hot glue that in a minute. I've got another paper clip there that I shall hot glue onto here to give us a, a fulcrum. Not sure if that's the right word. And then at the other end of here I need to put my flipper, I think is the word I shall use. The only thing I'm not too sure about is this is now getting quite long and it's not going to travel very far in the bath. But uh, we'll see. I think I need to put a piece of polystyrene across here as well. Just to hold it up a little bit so it doesn't get caught on the actual cam as it goes round. So I'll do that as well in a minute. Right. We're all up together. That's my flipper or paddle or whatever you want to call it. The only thing I'm not sure about is what sort of depth this is going to sit in the water. So uh, let's just turn it on and demonstrate the idea anyway. Go and sit it in the water and see if we need to make any other adjustments. Okay, time for a test run. So, say we're not going to get much distance, not in the length of my bath. But, uh, pleased with that. It works. So there we go. Bargain store project recycled number three. That's in it's the third recycling video. It was actually bargain store project number two which was a crawler bot um, which used the vibrating toothbrush and the pizza tray made into the body for a crawler bot. I've remodelled it now, made it into a boat, still using the vibrating toothbrush but now using it with a cam to wiggle this flipper.
pivot point just there. And that's it. I just wish I had somewhere a bit bigger to try it out rather than just my bath. But all my local ponds say no motorised vehicles in them. So I can't do it locally. So you'll just have to look in my bath. Okay, time for a test run. As I say, we're not going to get much distance, not in the length of my bath, but. Uh, Pleased with that. It works. So there we go. Bargain store project recycled number three.